Hello, hello, Perfidious Pete here, holding out for a hero, as I prepare to venture forth once again onto the mean streets of Muldraw, Kentucky, in Project Zomboid. And just like Bonnie Tyler before me, I'm holding out for a hero till the morning light, and he's got to be strong, and he's got to be smooth, and he's got to be larger than life. Frankly, I need a hero. Mostly because my previous hero, Matt Murdock, got chewed apart by a horde of flaming zombies. Fortunately for me, however, Matt Murdock wasn't alone in his decision to immigrate to Muldraw, Kentucky here. There was another that followed him into exile, looking to punish Daredevil for abandoning Hell's Kitchen to the tender mercies of Wilson Fisk. And I do mean punish, because the man that followed Matt was none other than his old foe, the Punisher himself, Frank Castle. And though Daredevil is beyond all punishment now, Frank Castle is on the scene and uh, there's a lot of targets on which he can focus his rage here in the Muldraw environment. He may have come hunting for the Daredevil, but uh, well, there's a lot of zombies out there that could use a little bit of punishment and I think it's time we get old Frank geared up, ready to get stuck in and deliver the hurt. So let's get to it. We've got Frank all kitted out here. He's ready. Chest hair and stubble, of course. Frank Castle, he might clean his guns, but is he going to take five minutes to stop and shave? I think not. So we've got him taken care of. Let's, uh, going to go with a police officer, of course, for Frank Castle. I mean, ex-police officer before his family got murdered. Frank Castle was an up-and-coming young policeman. And we are going to give Frank just the standard policeman traits, of course, but he is going to also get disorganized, of course, to counter off the offset there. Reason we're taking Disorganized, the Punisher carries around a lot of guns, and when you're carrying like 35 different firearms, oftentimes can be a little difficult to find the one that you're wanting. When you got a garbage bag full of guns on your back and you're looking for a specific pistol, might be hard to whip it out of the old sack. So that's the way we're going to go with Frank on this one. Let's do it. Little Punisher war journal here. These are the end times. Frank Castle's journal. These are the end times. I came looking for a freebie, looking for a coward who ran at the first sign of trouble. By the time I arrived, trouble had already taken care of him. He should have stayed at Hell's Kitchen. Now, here I am, stuck in this miserable pisshole of a town, filled with the walking dead, and there's nothing I can do but try and put bullets in each and every one of them. I'm Frank Castle. This is how I died. All right, so the start of the war general. Let's see what we got. All right, Frank. Okay, so Frank Castle buying a surprisingly homey little house here. Um, wow, I really kind of like the look you've got going there, Frank. It's uh, very, uh, very domestic, very quaint. All right, so let's see what we got here. We should open up our inventory. Sheet of paper, not really necessary. We've got a lot of windows in this house and no curtains. That's bad. I'm not real sanguine about maybe staying in this area. Socks and some skirts. None of those things are... Do you really think Frank Castle is going to be caught dead in a skirt? Please, come on. It's so impractical. It doesn't protect the legs at all. Castle would never be caught in a skirt. Blouse and shoes, maybe, maybe, if uh, he's in the right mood. But a skirt? No, it's just too impractical. Nothing in a stove. So we've got a can of beans, some chips, some vinegar, and a bowl. We're going to take all of these items. Not a lot of containers working here in the old Frank Castle abode. Can of beans and some tomatoes. I don't like this house at all. I think it's a pretty terrible spot to sort of set up. Let's equip this sack as our secondary. We will take the water bottle. That's quite useful. Can opener and some dry ramen noodles. We're just going to start stuffing all this crap in our sack. Um, tomato seeds can go in the sack. Vinegar can go in the sack. The water bottle, the can of beans. we got two cans of beans. Jeez, Frank, you really should have stocked up on supplies before the apocalypse hit. Let this be a lesson to you folks out there. Make sure you've got an abundant supply of food in your house. You never know when the apocalypse might arrive. And if it does, what are you going to do? Are you going to be like Frank here and be fighting off the apocalypse with nothing more than a butter knife? Because that's what's going to happen here. Frank's going to be fighting with a knife. He does have, of course, a bottle of whiskey. I mean, he is the Punisher. Like, the Punisher's going to be without whiskey? Please. Also, a banana and some leftover pie. So, yeah, yeah that's fine. And we're hot already? <sighs> Any excuse to take your shirt off, isn't it, Frank? Oh, no, that's fine. Yeah, no, I see how you are. Don't give me any grief, man. I came here looking for Daredevil. You want to be next on the list? I can punish you too. Well, uh, heaven forbid. Wouldn't be any punishment for you to take your shirt off. Well, that's gotta say, you got a nice little look about you. You got a, quite a cute little shape there, Frank. 
And in the bathroom, we got anything in here. This sheet I'm going to take. That's actually potentially useful. We can't fit it in our container. The container's already full. So as you can see, disorganized, not exactly fantastic. Anything else in here? All right, well, this house sucks. I don't even think we should consider staying in this house, actually. Let's let's just move. All right, so we're going to keep an eye out for zombies. No daredevil pun intended with the whole eye out for zombies thing. We do have one approaching us already. We're going to try and conserve our butter knife as long as possible. It is currently the only weapon we have. we got to be a little careful with it. Punisher, of course, probably feeling the uh, lack of a firearm pretty staunchly. I really wish I had a piece. The one time I leave my guns at home and look what happens. Zombie apocalypse. And now I'm completely unprepared. This zombie just will not go down. Fortunately, Frank did, of course, study all of Daredevil's patented fighting moves, so he has the push him to the ground and stomp on him thing fucking down pat. Can't counter Daredevil's kung f um, excuse me? Open this door? How is this door locked? This is my house. Um, okay. This is my house. I have the key to my own house, and yet there's a door that's locked here that I can't open. Very, um... If I lock it, can I unlock it? I can't. And then open it? Okay, I guess we had to lock it before we could unlock it. Some thread and wire. Potentially useful. A hammer or something would be a lot better. Planks are very good, but very heavy. We can use planks to start securing our first location as soon as we can find some hammer and nails. Take this electronic scrap as well. I don't, I don't think we stay in this house. I don't like the shape of it. It's got too many uncovered windows. Too dangerous. So let's look for maybe... Someplace a little more isolated, a little little more safe. I don't like this neighborhood, really. A lot of zombies down there. All right, so we got a couple houses over here with uh, at least a reasonable promise. This one has a minimum of doors and windows. I like that. Wouldn't mind... Uh, so I say I wouldn't mind finding a house that's been previously broken into, but in this case, this is the one time I'm willing to chance it. All right, Frank, make with the stomping. I'm telling you, studying that Daredevil Kung Fu is really going to hold you in good stead, Frank. I don't need Kung Fu. I have every gun in the universe. I mean, not on me right now, of course, because I, I forgot them during the apocalypse. As I said previously, a bit of an oversight on my part. All right, so Daredevil uh, Frank Castle here. Wishing he had a gun, but, uh, you know, they don't call him the Punisher just because he's a gunslinger, man. I mean, he can punish you with anything. If he, All he's got is a butter knife. Frank Castle can kill you with a butter knife. He can't open a fucking window to save his life, apparently, but uh, he can kill you with a butter knife. Jeez, Frank, have you been neglected the uh, physical work out there, pal? What's uh, what's the deal? You're uh, not looking too strong there, old man. Yeah, okay, well, he's just not having any of it. What about this window? Any better? This house looks completely empty. Jeez, Frank, you gotta hit the weights, man. The uh, old lat muscles there, they're not looking too good. Now, we do want to be careful that there's probably a zombie in this house, like the owner, probably in here somewhere. We want to be very careful. The bathroom is empty, so they're probably in the bedroom then. I don't see anything. No zombie in this house, huh? Very interesting, but I got to say, I do like this house. Very easily secured. This is a good spot for us. All right, so this is where... Frank is going to make his uh, make his stand. So we're going to close the window. We're going to put one of our sheets on there. Then we're going to drop this sheet. And so we're partially secured. We got a chest black, whatever that means. A pillow and a vest. It's on the shelf. Advanced farming, somewhat useful. A journal as well as a sheet of paper. Okay. We need to find another sheet. Uh, the, fridge or, uh, the fridge here is kind of small. That's a bit of a drawback. I still like this place. I think this is a good spot for us to store our goods. So, let's throw all of this junk in the fridge. We've got at least a strong temporary shelter going. This will give the Punisher a chance to punish the wicked. He has already punished two of the wicked. That's right. Both of those zombies deserve to die. The moment they touched him, the moment they did anything, they were done. The frying pan is actually a pretty solid find. The plastic bag and a fork less so. So we're going to equip the frying pan. It is a little better weapon than a butter knife, a little more durable. Some bullets. Oh, Frank, you're halfway home. Nine millimeter rounds. Hollow points. They'll tear through the undead like butter through a knife. Like butter through a knife? Like a knife through butter. Corn heads. Chopping them like apples. 
Anything in here? Advanced farming, a journal, and a sheet of paper. This cabinet is empty. We got a lot of reasonable storage space here as well. So you know what? Let's, uh, let's go ahead and start storing some of our not necessary items. This electronic scrap. The butter knife I'm going to hang on to. We'll put the banana in a fridge. You really should keep your fruit. Also your pies, Frank. You really want to keep those in a refrigerator. I'm just saying. Got to avoid spoilage, pal, as uh, often as possible. This is the apocalypse, but I mean, we're not savages yet. Come on, man. So we'll throw this plank in here, this thread. The two water bottles I'm going to hang on to. This bowl of water we'll get rid of, as well as this wire. All right, so we're armed with a frying pan. And again, if Frank Castle can kill you with a butter knife, don't think he can also kill you with a frying pan, because he absolutely can and will. So we've got our house there, a little house on the corner. I like the look of it. Now we're going to begin being very careful. I'm not going to go into any home that has not been previously broken into or that I can't see zombies inside of. I do not want to risk setting off an alarm. Small horde over there by that little copse of trees. We'll avoid that. Let's uh, let's continue going this way. Wouldn't mind finding a better weapon. Granted, a frying pan. Frank Castle can kill you with a frying pan, but it's not really his go-to choice of weaponry. All right, so, all right, we've got a zombie who is potentially... Okay, good. Let's see if an alarm goes off. If no alarm goes off, that's good. The zombie has done part of our workforce. Big ol' horde of zombies over there. All right, and... Hey, zombie. Hey, hey zombie. Yeah, that's right. Come on out. Yeah, you want some of this delicious Punisher, don't you? Oh, I know I'm a shirtless beast. I know I'm looking hot. I'm looking fat. I'm looking fit. I'm looking styling. You want some of what Frank Castle has going on, but you can't get none, girl. You can't get none. My wife is dead. Don't talk like that. Sorry, Punisher. Jeez, I was just trying to have a little fun, man. Settle down. There's nothing funny about it. My wife is dead. All right, so let's uh, remove this broken glass then. Now, we are going to want to keep an eye out and make sure that the sound of the broken glass did not attract any of those nearby zombies. It did not. That is good. So in here we go. Let's keep an eye out. Could still be zombies inside. Somebody lived in this house prior to the apocalypse, and that someone was not Daredevil. We're good so far. All right, let's get a little fill our water bottle, grab a drink. And let's start looting this place. Another sheet. We need that. We can use that to cover our window. That's good. The blouse we don't really need. I mean, it's cute and all, but it's not really Frank style. An extra frying pan is solid, as well as some tuna. That's good. Anything else over here? We've got some carrot seeds, a cooking pot, some dog food, which any port in a storm, I suppose. I'm going to take the cooking pot as well, and we'll probably fill that with water when we get back home. Nothing there but a fork and a spoon. The refrigerator is empty. Man, this family was poorly prepared for the apocalypse. All right, can we open this window? No, but it has no glass, so we can climb through without harm. All right, let's go back to our pad, stash our illicit goods. And unlike uh, good old Daredevil, Frank doesn't have to feel the least bit guilty about taking shit that belongs to other people. Everyone sinned in their life. I have no compunctions about punishing the wicked so that I might succeed. My campaign of vengeance cannot be stopped. And if I have to rob from the rich to give to myself, I absolutely will. Well, there you have it. So we're going to grab this sheet. Let's put that over there. So now we have two frying pans, one for smashing zombies and one for your more general garden variety cookery. Because I got to say, I'm not real thrilled about the idea of smashing zombies heads in with a frying pan and then using that same frying pan to cook. That just seems unsanitary. So let's fill our cooking pot. We can start putting together a store of water this way as well. We'll get a drink as well. Turn off. Oh, there's a light. Yeah, we should absolutely turn that off. And so where were we storing our goods? They're in this cabinet, correct? Yes. The extra frying pan, I think I'm going to keep in the stove. The pot of water. Let's actually make... Oh, we've got a can of bleach in here. Well, let's move that to there. And our extra water sources, I think we'll start storing in this cabinet. Didn't we have some bowls of water? We do. Let's move that down as well. Sort of construction items go in the top cabinet. Edible stuff in the bottom cabinet. Anything else we want to get out of here? Carrot seeds we could probably put in, let's say, in this cabinet as well. The rest of this is food. Our spare frying pan is going in the refrigerator. 9mm bullets. Let's put those in here. Got to have a gun before we can make use of the bullets. Our spare frying pan we're just going to keep in the stove. Or when we need it, because, I mean, we're going to... I'm actually going to do a little cookery. Um, cooking your food first, of course, as humans have discovered through after centuries and centuries of experimentation, it is quite useful. 
Now let's throw a tea bag, some tuna, a little bit of dog food, and some chips. So our ill-gotten goods will pitch. Why will you not fit? There we go. All right, so let's equip this as our primary. Not sure what we would be making stir fry out of right now, but we do have a butter knife, which is good. We can use that for stir fry. And there wasn't another window back here that we needed to cover, was there? No, this room is good. Now, the only potential problem here, if we set up like a permanent camp in this abode, the place where we would sleep does not have an escape route. So if zombies come a knocking, they can corner us in. I really don't like that much at all. A two-story house would definitely be better for us, and if we can find a reasonable two-story house in the neighborhood, we absolutely will try and occupy it. None of these houses look particularly picked over. A lot of zombies over there. Let's try and avoid that. Still no two-story houses either. Quick little spin just to make sure nobody's sneaking up on the Punisher. Sneaking up on me would be an extraordinarily bad idea, I assure you. Well, that's good, Punisher, but since all the you're armed with is a fucking frying pan, you'll have to forgive me if uh, I'm still a little concerned about your safety. I suppose that's reasonable. So we've got another house. It's kind of a solo zombie over here. Let's, let's just go take this guy out. We can walk right up behind him and shove him down. Down you go. Nope, there you go. And stomping. Okay, you get a newspaper, some pants, some shoes, and a vest. Nothing groundbreaking there. Still, we're not seeing a lot of good opportunities for looting. Like I said, I don't want to go in houses that haven't previously been very visibly violated. I do not want to set off alarm in my own neighborhood. Down you go. Down you go. That down, sir. Please, cooperate. Don't make me get violent. Wouldn't like me when I'm violent. Whack with the pan. All right, you're going to get brained with a frying pan, ma'am. I'm sorry. So this zombie got panned. You just got panned by the Punisher. Oh. I mean, normally when you say somebody got panned, it just means that you're not really a fan of their work. You've sort of criticized some of their creative endeavors. When you get panned by Frank Castle, I assure you, your brains get smashed out. This house has also not been entered. Are there any zombies inside of it? I don't see any, and I don't hear any pounding, which means the answer is probably no. We're still looking for a two-story abode. I don't really see any. All right, it's getting a little late in the evening as well. I think this may be the end of day one for the Punisher. Still a relatively productive day. We did manage to secure some reasonable lodgings, a place of relative safety. And in addition to that, we also have made a, uh, not a strong start, but a reasonable start on an initial stockpile of food and other goodies. Sort of what we need to find right now, really, are some more portable items, like a better container. Has to be a priority. A hammer and nails, of course, always a priority. A lot of Zeds over there. They're really a little closer to my house than I like. You know what? I think we gotta take a minute and try and deal with these guys. They're a little too close to my home for comfort. I do not want them coming up on me as I sleep. This is not my house. Actually, never mind. They're actually sort of far away from my house. The rain is not... Ooh. There's a very tempting container in this dump. Let's try the front door. This is right next door to my house, though. If we set off an alarm, we're in trouble. You know what? If we set off an alarm and we have to make a run for it, then we have to make a run for it. That seems almost too easy. An alarm? No alarm. All right. Here we go, then. Keep an eye out for zombies. Anything? Looks... Looks clear. All right, let's close the window. All right, so let's loot this place very quickly. We've got a pencil. And we may as well take it. I mean, what can it hurt? Here we go. Another frying... Oh, 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 yes. The Punisher immediately finding himself a weapon. fan friggin -tastic. That is a huge find for us. We have a pistol and we have 9mm rounds, meaning we can make use of both of those things. That is a thing of beauty. I'm the Punisher. I'm here to punish your crimes. With a gun, with a knife, with a frying pan, I'll do it whatever way it takes. Still, I'm really stoked. Also, this mutton chop on orange soda is a nice find as well. Orange soda is not going to fit in our bag. Eh, it's fine. A garbage bag would be a better container. We're going to snag that. Anything else over here worth taking? We got nothing but a fork. 
The refrigerator is empty, which is unfortunate, but considering we found a gun in this place, I am not inclined to complain even a little. This is a good stop for us. Nothing in the bathroom, so let's fill our water bottle, get a drink, and the Punisher is fully and thoroughly armed. Now, granted, we have a very small and limited number of bullets available to us. Let's, what is a spiffo? I guess we'll take it. Socks and a vest we don't really need. So open the door. All right, let's get back home and secure our gatherings for the day. Man, I'm really stoked about the gun. That is a huge find for us. Absolutely huge. In we go. All right, Frank. It's time to clean your gun, baby. Time to clean that gun. So we've got another extra frying pan. That's the one we have equipped. So I still wouldn't like... I, I mean, I don't want to equip right away our gun. We're definitely going to be carrying it at all times, but if I don't have to use the gun, I would prefer to not. So let's get that in our inventory as well as these 9mm rounds. We do want to be armed, but the gun makes a lot of noise. Noise is going to attract zombies. That's definitely something we want to try and avoid whenever possible. Mutton chop, peanut butter. we got an extra butter knife. We can store that in here. Nothing in there but a... Alright, let's put our food away in the refrigerator. Can of carrots, some peanut butter, and a mutton chop. Actually, I think that mutton chop we might try and keep. Do we have any vegetables at all? Not a bit, actually. That's a little disappointing. So we've got a butter knife, 9mm rounds. Let's equip the pistol. Let's equip the pistol as our secondary item. And how do we load this? So we should be able to switch to the pistol. How do I reload? Is... Okay. Good. Alright, so we have a loaded pistol. Fantastic. Um, okay. Let's equip you as primary. And equip the pistol as our secondary. Excellent. Alright, so we've got our pan selected. Man, we really can't see anything. It's actually quite dark in Frank's house. Let's make a bit of a dinner, though. So we've got... Uh, let's head over to the stove. We're going to grab our pan out of the stove. This is our cooking pan, of course. And to the fridge. Let's do a little chicken stir-fry. We got anything we could mix with that? Like a, I don't know, maybe a vegetable? Nope, it's going to be chicken and... Well, we could do chicken and bananas, I guess. Or chicken and whiskey, if you're... You know, chicken and whiskey seems very... Dare, or very, uh, very uh, Punisher-ian. It seems really like something the Punisher might eat. What did you make? Chicken and whiskey. So let's chop this. Prepare. Okay, so clearly we actually can't add a banana to our stir-fry. All right, well, and it's, uh, I don't have to do that. We'll just cook some... We'll just make it be a nice little chicken stir-fry. So let's find the oven, turn that on. Ah, behold, the glory of Dare of uh, Frank Punisher making dinner. Frank Castle making dinner. This is this is glorious gripping shit right here. We still have some of this chicken left, so let's put it back in the fridge. Behold, as the Punisher stops his campaign to thwart the wicked and instead makes a nice delicious chicken stir-fry. I don't know what a spiffo is still. Plastic bag, this pencil we don't really need. The orange soda needs to go in the refrigerator. Uh, we don't really need the plastic bag either, but I don't want to put it in the refrigerator, so let's put it in here. Is our stir-fry done yet? Not yet. Come on, stir-fry. Let's get this going, man. Come on, this is like the slowest stir-fry ever. Good food takes time. Punishing the wicked takes time and patience. Good stir-fry, same amount of time and patience. Don't rush it, man. Don't rush it. You gotta wait for the kill shot. Just like you have to wait for the onions to caramelize before you sprinkle them underneath that bed of chicken. The most delicious stir fries are the ones that take time. Well, I'll heed your cooking advice then. You know more than I do, Punisher. You've punished quite a few meals in your day. And you've definitely shot more people than I have. Everything is in order. Alright, so yeah, we're just, uh, we're just cooking dinner. Thrill at the mundane household tasks of the Punisher. Watch as he puts away a chicken stir-fry dinner. Are you cooked yet? Still no. Come on. There we go. All right, so the chicken stir-fry is done. Now we can eat the chicken stir-fry. I'm just going to eat all of it. We'll be well-fed, and that'll give us an opportunity to hit the sack. So, good. We'll take one of these frying pans and throw it back in the oven where it goes. I didn't, I didn't want both of them. Grab one of the frying pans. We still need a bludgeoning weapon. Remember to turn off the stove, kids. Safety first. This is a, uh, you know. We don't want to burn the house down. Is something beating on my house? I think there's a zombie beating on the house. 
If there's a zombie beating on the house, we need to kill it. So one quick slip of the tongue here. Just a quick sweep of the grounds to make sure we're safe before bedtime. All right. Um, no, we're good. All right. So the area is clear. And now his conscience abated a delicious chicken stir fry in his belly and a pistol in the holster on his hip. Frank Castle can sleep the sleep of the just. So close the door, Frank. And let's just get a little bit of a night. And that's where I'm going to wrap things up. If you enjoyed the episode, feel free to drop a like down in the comment section, of course. Your support really does mean a lot to us. And somebody is out there shooting, and it ain't Frank. That's bad. We'll have to investigate that next episode. Because right now, thanks very much for watching. And we'll see you again soon for more Zombie Punishment with Frank Castle, the Punisher.